Virgo. What's popping? What's going down in the life of a Virgo between the 15th and the 30th of September? Hmm. Hmm. It's still your birthday. It's still your birthday. Hey, bad, bad, contest. Who in first place? Cousin, first place. You in first place. Bad, bad, contest. You in first place. What's up, cousin? What's going down? What's popping? <laughs> Welcome to the Mocha Love Tea channel. If this is your first time viewing my channel, hey boo hey, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time viewing my channel, y'all, I make us a little, I make us a lot. Right? Just depends on what the hell these cards say. All right, so I'm trying to get everybody recorded today. I have Virgo, Capricorn, uh, uh, Taurus, Libra. Um, and I'm going to get everybody. I'm, I, I, I'm going in the order of Virgo now, then Libra. And then Taurus and Capricorn was they was racing on view. So we we seeing what's what with that. But then I'm trying to drop them off today because today's the last day of my ten dollar reading special. Now, because I know I can't get to every single person today, and I'm off tomorrow for show for show on Monday. So if you get go ahead and get your reading special in. Y'all don't give a damn if I have 75 emails. Get them in today, okay? Even if, as long as I get an email today before 12 a.m. Central Standard Time. I'm going to even give it to 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? Because I know that's, that's 12 a.m., okay? My time. But I'm going to give it to that time as long as you get your email and your payments, okay? Because I'm going to be honest with you. I love y'all. But it's not your email that confirms your reading. It's your payment that confirms your reading because I do have um, some clients that actually connect with me and they pay way ahead of time. For their reading or as soon as we talk so it's that and i'm going to go in that order i'm only fair okay y'all i'm playing super mom today i had we my babies went out my baby went out there and showed out okay and i had to do uh my, my super mom shit so with that said we repping eagles today 53 belongs to moi belongs to the kid that belongs to me okay i am in a different setting shit got real all right so um this will be for my sun moon rising Venus as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Virgo. Okay, again, if you need that personal, hit me up. That information can be in the description. Just simply general. I broke my nails today. Y'all don't judge me. I'm a little I'm a little insecure about that. So I'm I'm gonna show you now because I ain't hiding it. All right. So we getting into it. All right, so let's rock. The first message comes from my Crystal Angels Oracle card deck by Doreen Virtue. Okay. It says Azerite, deep emotional healing. Your heart is ready to heal from past experiences, and you are willing to devote time and energy toward therapeutic care. Okay. This is a positive card showing that you're ready to express. I'm sorry. You're showing that you're ready to process and move on from painful experiences and trauma. This means that you're opening, that you're open to receiving healing energy and insights about your experiences. You're guided to devote time for your personal healing work. This may involve appointments with a therapist or a healer or spending extra time in prayer or meditation on self-care practices. Detoxification from chemicals and processed food and also negative influences come up very strongly for you right now. First and foremost, the energy that I feel for Virgo and I'm hearing it and don't deny it. Y'all know we family, we cousins. I don't judge, but I do. I will get the bill. Okay. But the song I'm hearing for you guys and spirit keeps saying the kidneys. Please stop drinking, Virgo. Don't you can't drink your problems away. Okay? Spirit needs you to connect. God say, Can I do my job? But I'm gonna need you to connect with me because some of y'all are losing yourself, okay? Because the song I'm hearing it's my jam. Okay, but I'm not hearing it from a positive standpoint. I'm hearing we be all night love, drunk in love. I want you, Virgo. Some of y'all in quite the situations and situations that you had that you at this point stuck in because you were drunk in love and you got to fix it. OK, during this time, mother wants you to. It's, this is a very deep healing time for my babies. I'm literally hearing if you take the leap, jump off the cliff, Virgo, jump off the cliff, cousin, the cliff, jump off the cliff, cousin. OK, perception during this time. 
Some of y'all gonna have to take them rose colored glasses off and actually communicate. Stop sitting, stop sitting on your damn feelings. Tell these people how you feel. During this time, y'all are gonna be communicating, okay? I feel like some of y'all are not communicating with the sword being down, but I also see things changing for some of y'all. So during this time, take the rose colored glasses off. If people didn't show you who they are and how they feel, oh my gosh, believe them, okay? Believe them. Some of y'all need to shift your perception in order to see situations for what they are and stop being a slave to your loyalty, okay? Because it's getting to the point where it's really, really affecting y'all. For some of you guys, you, you some of y'all did not already use the damn sword. You told everybody, you cut everybody, cut their ass up and then told them, look, I got to love on myself. I got to love on me. During this time, is a very infinite time. This is very karmic time past lives baby you see the infinite signal here this is infinite for you to find yourself so that you can move in your abundance baby you a manifester you a creator during this time it's time for you to create just jump off the cliff okay but some of you it definitely involves some type of spiritual practice some type of counseling some type of mediation some of you are having to go through cutting people off and isolating yourself and taking that leap of faith and not worrying well girl is my credit good enough well shit is the well, am I going to find a kid for my school? Because some of y'all are finding situations, are finding excuses to tell yourself to be stuck in your situation and spirit says no more. Okay, some of y'all are spiritual counselors during this time. Your third eye is going to be booming. Some of y'all are working on opening up your heart chakra. Some of y'all are definitely dealing with water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, and some of y'all are also dealing with fire energies, but I feel like. And yeah, y'all dealing with fire and the and fires in the building. Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius is here. But I feel like with some of y'all during this time, you're needing to balance your masculine and your feminine energies. Okay, I feel like some of y'all are sitting on your passions, your creations, the things that the, your purpose. Okay, for some of y'all, I'm hearing your purpose. Some of y'all are sitting on your purpose. As soon as I laid y'all call, baby, my ears were on fire. Virgo, some of y'all are not listening to spirit. Some of y'all, the ones who are clairaudient and can hear. You're not listening to spirit. Spirit says you need to listen. They're literally trying to guide you and give you the key map. Some of y'all are going to be receiving hella downloads during this time. I'm going to get the bill. Because I, I see right now, Virgo, during this time, a lot of y'all going to have to ground yourself. Your crown chakra is on fire. You're going to be receiving downloads left and right. This Aries full moon is going to be very crucial for some of y'all. Spirit says take the leap of faith. Jump out there. Okay, I am seeing during this time, some of you guys are going to have to heal. You're healing the mind, body, and spirit, okay? So I feel like internally you're needing to heal. Heal from deep wounded childhood issues. And a lot during this time, some of y'all need to work on your solar plexus as well as your heart chakra because it's I'm hearing it's cold, okay? Also, you're going to receive downloads about certain situations coming forward to come to a close because a lot of y'all are ending cycles during this time. For some of you, it's past life cycles. Um, I feel like some a lot of y'all are feeling stagnant during this time. You're feeling like you're stuck in a situation. Some of y'all are definitely dealing with a Sagittarius at the root of some of this. You're having strength because I feel like for some of y'all, you're going to find out. Some of y'all are dealing with a Leo as well. And some of y'all are going into new cycles with Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius after possibly someone coming into some type of financial uh financial abundance i do see financial abundance also i see some y'all are feeling like you having to carry the world carry everything and do everything by your damn self carry all the weight and do everything and you feel stuck in situations but it's situations that you can literally just navigate yourself through if you just trust spirit and get out there because some y'all are trying to hold shit together that was meant baby to be let go all right so let's see yeah some y'all are definitely going into a new cycle with the aries some y'all are going into new cycles and just taking a leap of faith and jumping out there. And for those of you who've been having money blockages, what's blocking your money is yourself. You standing still. Everybody not meant to eat with you, baby. Spirit is trying to bless you. Not all y'all. Okay? Show me Virgo. Between now and the 30th of September. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. Some of y'all are definitely going into new cycles having to do with love. Okay? For some of you, it is a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. I feel like some of y'all have major changes coming forward. I feel like some of y'all going to have to walk, cut people off and move forward. Some of you guys, you may have an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You're in love with this person, but this person during this time, you may be feeling intuitively. intuitively you're trying to work something out, and you feel intuitively that somebody is going to hit, hit the door on your ass. They're going to bail out. I feel like whoever this is, baby, it's an earth sign or Sagittarius or Leo. Or Aries, but I, I I will be honest, baby. They tired. They're not. They they they're ended. Some for some of y'all, these people are ending cycles, and they're gonna do it very cowardly. 
I don't feel like they're going to give you any type of closure. And I feel like this is not this person's first time doing that, baby. You're needing to make a judgment call. Maybe someone who you left possibly three months ago, three weeks ago. I do see you coming back, coming forward to this person and actually communicating with them. If this is a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, y'all, this person has been missing you. They just want you to come back. Okay, I feel like when you left, it really changed that world. This person could have been very arrogant and maybe making you feel, you know, like, you know, I like, like pretty much like you need them. And some of y'all, y'all showed they ass. Um, yeah, I ain't need you. You needed me. For some of y'all, it's definitely having to do with a Leo or Sagittarius. And I feel like either you or this person does not have closure to a situation that is not seeing something or a certain particular fact in a situation and it's causing internal conflict and possibly uh, conflicts on the surface as well. Why is this hangman here, spirit? Yeah. Some of y'all got a very toxic relationship with a Sagittarius. You feel bound to this person. You feel stuck or maybe this is how they're feeling about you, Virgo. But that cycle is coming to an end. For some of you, you wanted to reunite with this person, okay? Um... You really had high hopes of reuniting. You were trying to push through and just hold your shit together, okay? But this person looks like they're going to be moving away, especially if it's a Leo or a Sag. This person feels like they, they have to move away to common waters. They have to move away to a peaceful time. Some of y'all have a, a, a water sign coming in to try to help you financially. Virgo, don't be prideful during this time. If you need help, say you need help. Some of y'all are going into a new cycle with the Gemini. If only you just move forward and take the leap of faith. Some of y'all had some of you during this time will find out if you're dealing with the sign of Aries. You're being very defensive towards this person over some form of deception. They broke your heart, you know, and you just like, I'm not fucking with you. OK, and some of y'all, you mean it, but some of y'all are going into a new cycle and you're needing to forgive because this person just simply surfaced childhood issues for you. This person, if they left and left you abandoned, this is someone who I'm talking to who have deep rooted abandonment issues. OK, or I could also be talking to someone who has the need to be accepted, even if it's by family and friends. I feel like that's what. That's what you're falling out with these people for because spirit is wanting you to first accept yourself and lead, lead these motherfuckers, lead, lead by example with motherfuckers. During this time, a lot of y'all are going to be needing to ground yourself. Spirit is wanting you to ground yourself possibly after being left out in the cold. Don't lose your shit, Virgo. Don't lose your shit. Chakra meditations. Don't lose your shit. Hold it together. Some of y'all were juggling possibly a water sign or being juggled by a water sign and another earth sign. Or some of y'all could be juggling water and earth. I feel like one of these people really, the water sign I'm seeing, really, really, really loves you, baby. And I feel like now you're coming into a new cycle. Now you're ending the cycle possibly with the other person who you chose over this water sign. This person is really in their feelings. But I do see that if you, and you and your feeling, both of y'all in y'all feelings, but it's pride. Pride is the major, is, is the biggest relationship killer. Pride for what? What can you buy with pride? What can you buy with ego? How far does that shit really get you? Because for some of y'all, it's made you take the biggest L's. I ain't going to say it, your life. Because y'all got good shit going. So a lot of y'all going to start new jobs during this time. And it's going to be new jobs that's true to you. Okay, Some of y'all are actually going to have to tell the truth in order to work something through. But I do see y'all working on it. Especially if you're dealing with an earth sign or a water sign or Aries. I've seen that. Yeah, some of y'all... Are trying to work on a relationship, possibly after, um, possibly after somebody then got somebody pregnant. For some of y'all, in the last month of August, somebody had some babies popping up out of nowhere, possibly from their past, and maybe they, maybe they didn't claim or something of that nature. But I do see family situations and you know being being worked through, and I do see, um, I do see um, merging families, two families merging. Okay, I also see uh, some of y'all getting the truth. Some of y'all find out the truth about somebody having kids on you. And I feel like intuitively you knew, but they asses was lying. And it's going to break your heart, baby. You know, it's really it's going to really break you down. The spirit is just where I said, hold your shit together. I didn't see why I was saying that, but hold your shit together. Some of y'all, it has to do somebody. I feel like for those of you who was having financial issues or wasn't wanting to know what somebody finances was going, you're going to an outside child. You're going to find that out. And you're going to make a judgment call. And some of y'all is going to, don't, y'all don't go to jail. I see so much violence. Some of you Virgos is gonna be gonna pop the fuck out somebody. Don't do it. Don't do it. Take a deep breath. If you can't do that and it don't work, and you finna say some mean, hurtful shit that can come back on you later, I've learned goggle some water. You can't goggle and talk shit at the same time. It's just not gonna happen. It works for me. Hey, you know. But I do see some of y'all 
or coming out of a cycle and going into a new one, okay, with this world card. But I do see it's coming. It's actually not, it's it's not allowing yourself to be blinded by somebody's fuckery. I told you, some of y'all finna take them rose color, rose color glasses off. Yeah, some of y'all are gonna make a judgment call about a baby mama. I strongly feel like this person could be a Taurus, Pisces, Aries, um, Virgo like yourself, or Libra. Okay? Or some of y'all, you're not making a judgment about a baby mama. That could be the signs that y'all could actually be feuding with. But y'all are ending cycles and going into new ones, okay? For some of y'all, I see new love with the Leo. Especially if you just met a Leo in the past three months, three weeks. Work it out with your Leo, okay? It's definitely a pride thing. Virgo, you are nurturing energy. You're going to have to nurture this person through it because they don't really know how to correctly love. But they're just not communicating with you. It's easier for them to communicate with you through pride, okay? And this Leo could also be in a moon sign. Some of y'all have family members that you want to reconcile with, you want to fix things with, because I feel like you feel like, you feel like it's your fault, maybe, you know, but Virgo, you have to set boundaries. Don't feel bad about setting boundaries with people, and sometimes you got to pull out this motherfucking sword, okay? Some of y'all are going to be cutting off a Sagittarius, but possibly going, possibly, in the, you're going to find out in the past, Virgo, this person, okay, could have actually stepped out and had a child on you. This could be for Leo, too. Some of y'all are also going to find out. For some of y'all, Virgo, this could be happening. Some of y'all could be getting truth and clarity or giving truth and clarity having to do with a child, especially if it, if it involves a Sagittarius, a Leo, or Aries. Uh, some of y'all are actually going to be able, after being in a period or someone in your energy being in a period of indecision or indecisiveness and not giving you clarity, someone actually wants to start over and fix things, baby, and work and move forward. But some of y'all, y'all getting out y'all head this month, and y'all actually going to stop just enough is enough at this point some of y'all feeling like fuck it i could do bad by myself some of y'all have a very toxic capricorn coming back towards y'all and y'all gonna be y'all gonna cut the ass up with the sword because i feel like some of y'all been waiting on this person to come forward so you can close that damn door and chapter of your life and move forward towards your money for those of you who are leaving someone and you're afraid to leave someone due to your financial situation or this person being the main provider or the breadwinner don't kiss no ass let God be God. God is a jealous God. God said, don't put no gods before me. Shit is tearing, shit's hitting the fan right now because some of y'all put a God before God. And I say that because we are all made in the, in the image and the likeness of God. It's, he wouldn't have said it if he wasn't no, don't put no man, I'm, I'm a jealous God. The reason why some of some people actually just walk out of our lives and things of that nature is because we internally conflict, we can internally fight ourselves to the point where it makes us sick or we lose shit or we lose our grace trying to please somebody else who at the end of the day going to show us they ain't shit. When a person shows you they're not shit, believe them and move forward because what what's stopping your money, what's preventing you from moving forward and focusing on your bread is this internal conflict, babe. Let it fucking go. For some of y'all, you're dealing with a soulmate. And this person was sent in your life during the midst of all of this damn conflict, okay? And all this damn starting over, especially in the form of a water sign or a Leo because they are or Capricorn towards Virgo because accept the help, Virgo. Accept the help. Don't be prideful, okay? Y'all gonna make me get the belt. Now, I hate when I got the fuss at y'all, especially during your damn birthday season, but good. Sheesh. Let it go. Some of y'all going to have to cut off for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Because this person could have possibly reconnected with um, someone from their past. Okay? But what you don't know is you and your feelings, this person went right into their karma because some of y'all dealing with somebody who's going to get used for some money. Okay? So spirit is needing you to walk away from that. Move away from that. Move away from that because you're putting yourself in a mental prison. Okay? Some of y'all just want to charge in and say, you sorry, son of a... You, that's why your ass ain't going to be shit and shingle. That's not your place. Don't do it. Okay? Don't do it, because I see y'all going to do it. <laughs> Don't do it, all right? Some of y'all are really indecisive about going to take a leap of faith and dealing with the Aries. Some of y'all have marriage. Someone, especially if you have a Taurus in your energy, this person wants to marry you. Some of y'all are going to be receiving proposals. This person want to hold on to you. Some of y'all going to get it from a Leo, because baby, they sorry, and they want to fix it, and they want their family, okay? And y'all are the magician. Anything you put forward, baby. And move on, you can have it. Your whole world is going to start over and shift and change in a major way if you just take that leap of faith.
take that leap of faith because it's going to balance your world out. For some of y'all, it's having to do with a Taurus, okay? But let me know. Keep me posted. Y'all do uh, like, share, comment, and subscribe to all my new subscribers. Welcome to the family. I appreciate y'all so very much. I'm really speaking from a humble place. Remember what I said about those $10 regions too? If As long as you get it in today, even if I have to push it out to Monday and do it between Monday and Tuesday, I will. But that the actual scheduling out after today, as far as like me, you hitting me tomorrow saying something about a $10 reading? It's not happening. Get your email in today. And as long, I will definitely honor every email that is in and payment in today. Okay? Even if I got to do it on Monday or Tuesday, it's going it, it's going to be honored for $10. Okay? So this is what I have for y'all. I love y'all very much. Libra's next. And I'm going to be doing personal readings in between. So y'all bear with me. Much love. Much light. Much abundance. And y'all don't act up with your crazy asses, cousin. Don't go to jail for your birthday. <laughs> Bye, booze.